हेलो एवरी वन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड वट इज इंटरनल टेबल वट इज वर्क एरिया हाउ टू डिक्लेयर इंटरनल टेबल एंड वर्क एरिया यूजिंग स्ट्रक्चर टाइप यू कैन क्रिएट ए स्ट्रक्चर टाइप विद द हेल्प ऑफ कोडिंग ऑल्सो you can create a structure type with the help of sc11 transaction code also if you are using a structure type to declare a internal table the keyword is type table of structure type can be your local structure type local structure type means which you are creating through coding low glow structure type can be global structure type which you are creating through sc11 transaction code but the most important thing is whenever you are going for internal table the keyword is type table of now same way if you are declaring the work area never never use the word table because work area is not a table work area always stores single record single record at run time so we use the word type only we use the word type only now we will see other ways to declare the internal table so as of now we studied structure type to declare the internal table now we will learn table type to declare the internal table if we have a table type how we can declare a internal table again table type is a complex data type we already covered structure type now we will cover table type how to create a table type then how to use table type to declare the internal table before before we start with table type make a golden rule table type is only only for the internal table never never use table type for the work area always use table type to declare the internal table only internal table suppose i will go for now table type how to declare a table type first thing we will learn how to create a table type through coding you created the structure type using which keyword types it means to create a table type also the word is keyword is types i will write types i will give some name to the table type suppose i am saying local table type underscore data so a best programmer always follows the naming convention so this is the name of the table type i am writing table type type table of what is the name of your structure type this is the name of your structure type so this is the name of the table type which is referring to this structure type so this is the way to declare a table type table type now if you want to use table type to declare the internal table how i will declare so we are learning other ways to declare the internal table i will write data lt underscore data. Now I will use the word type name of the table type. This is the name of the table type. So this is another way to declare the internal table, and this is the point where maximum mistakes has been done. If I used the structure type, if I used the structure type. to declare the internal table i use the keyword type table of type table of because it is a structure type structure type 
Now, when I use the table type, when I use the table type to declare the internal table, have you seen? I have not used the word table or you can understand in a way also. You have to use the word table whenever there is an internal table, whenever you want to declare an internal table. Here, it is structure type. It is structure type. So we use the word table. We use the word table. But it is already a table type. The table word is already there. So what I used only type. This is the point where maximum people do the mistake. It's a golden rule. If you are using structure type to declare the internal table, use the keyword type table of. If you are using table type, do not use the word type table of. Use only type. Why two times table? If you are writing type table of, it means table word is already there. And you are again using the name of table type. So you cannot go for two times table word. So always, if it is a structure type, use the word type table of. If it is a table type, use only, use only type. Now, when we started the topic, I told this table type is only, only for the internal table. So never write in that sense because I saw so many people, but they will do, they will declare the work area and they will use the name of the table type. This is not a work area now. This is a internal table because see, if you are writing some name and you are writing type table type, it means it becomes a internal table. So work area is never, never using table type. Work area always, always is structure type. Always, always structure type. Structure type, you can use any structure type which you are creating through coding or which you are creating through SC11 transaction code. So we studied how to create a table type using coding using code. Now, can we create same to same table type through SC11 also? Yes. Previously, you studied how, how to create a, how to create a table, how to create a structure type using coding and with the help of SC11. Then we studied how to create a table type using coding. Now we will learn how to create a table type using SC11 transaction code. So I will go to SC11 transaction code. I will give some name to the table type. Suppose I am saying ZTS type underscore order. Create. Now this time I will create a table type. Table type. Now just compare it to your code. This is your table type, which is referring to the structure, which is referring to the structure. It means, I first I'll give the description, table type. So this is the name of the table type. Ultimately name table type, what it will use, it will use the name of our structure type, which we already created. So I will pass the name of the structure type. I will remove T because in the name of the structure type, there is no T. This is our structure type. This is our structure. Let's compare it to code. Table type is using your structure type. Table type is using your structure type. Now I will activate this table type. Firstly, I will save. I'll save as a local object. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the table type. Now, I will use this table type to declare the internal table. So how I can write data, LT underscore data type table. The only difference is this table type you created through coding and this table type you created through SC11 transaction code. 
and same to same. This table type has a local scope. It is available in this program only. And this table type is a global table type you can use in n number of programs. So now we have now so many ways to declare the internal table. And this topic needs to be clear because our all upcoming topics is based fully, fully on this concept. So we studied, yes, how to declare a internal table using structure type and table type. Now, structure type, whenever you are using structure type to declare an internal table, always, always use the keyword type table of. Structure type, you can create through coding also. You can create through SC11 transaction code also. Now, Another way to declare the internal table is you can declare through table type. Now, you can create a table type same through coding also. You can create through SC11 transaction code also. But whenever you are using table type to declare an internal table, never, never use the word type table of because it is already a table type, already a table type. Now, golden rule, table type is only, only for the internal table. Never use table type to declare the work area because work area is not a table at all. So whenever you want to declare the work area, use structure. So this is the full summary of the video. In the next video, we will start with internal table operations. So that's it in this video. Thank you.